hope you're well. Um, well, I've decided that today I am going to do a video. Um, I was talking to my good friend Dorita from Hypoxy and um, she suggested that I should start doing videos because she likes my recommendations and loves chatting with me about beauty and stuff um, and all the things that I enjoy and that work for me. So she said, why don't you do videos? And I'm like, why don't I do videos? So here I am. And uh, it, this is all sort of stuff that I've used over the past couple of months, I'd say, that works, that I love, that I think you will love too. So that's why I'm recommending it. And all the um, packaging and stuff is a little bit mank because I've used it and it's real. So I'm real. And if you uh, watch Love Island, I'm real, I'm loyal. It's me. Anyway, you'll know what, what I mean by that. And if you don't watch Love Island Soz, but anyway, right, so what I've got here are my favourite, favourite blushes, and it's Daniel Sandler watercolours. And when I first got them, I was like, they're too runny. What on earth do you do? I couldn't understand the texture. So um, I was like, what am I doing with them? What am I doing wrong? So I looked online, I looked at a couple of other beauty bloggers that were using them and I realised I just wasn't like shaking it properly when I first got it. I was just like opening it and just expecting it to go on because I'm, you know, a bit messy and I'm always quick and just want to get things done. But, um, so basically what you do, really shake it first and then I pop a little bit on my, see how watery it is, look little little drop that's all you need so this is a pinkish one um, and then you go and it literally blends so beautifully I, I, I mean I love it look it just gives a little bit of a natural color a little flush which I love and it's my fave so I've got this one I've also got the the tanned one and this one is called golden glow and it's used so much, you can see that the names come off of it. And this one is called, I think this one's called Rose Glow. And it's Daniel Sandler Watercolour Liquid Blush. Um, I'm going to put it on the links below on my, on my blog so that you can see it. And you can know where to buy it. So, love it. And, right, okay, this one, I've always been a massive fan of... Um, Max Factor, uh, what was it, 1,000 calorie lash mascara. And is it 1,000 calorie or is it 2,000 calorie? Can't remember, it's lots of calories. Um, but that's always been my favourite because it's it's uh, reasonably priced. I guess it's about nine quid or something now. Um, it's Max Factor. And, you know, it's one of those sort of budget buys that you can't go wrong with. I've used it since it first came out when I was on the beauty desk at Cosmo many, many years ago when I was young and like, well, oh, hey. And I could have had any mascaras I wanted. You know, I was sent loads and loads because I was um, working on the beauty desk. So we had our pick of the best. But I always had the Max Factor calorie found, um, mascara. But number seven sent me this because I don't know, I can't remember why, but I was speaking to a girl there and in the lovely press office there and she sent me this, which is their newest number seven lash extender. And it's in a really pretty gold and silver, sort of like ombre type of um, packaging. And again, number seven, very reasonably priced, easy to get hold of. And I was like, yeah, okay, fine, I'll try it. Because nothing ever compares to my regular old Max Factor. But... I'm telling you, this worked. It's got a thick brush, which is what I like, because I feel like it, I don't know, I'm not a fan of those little wincy brushes, that little spidery lashes, I don't like them. But this, I don't know if you can really tell, but it goes on so easily, and it really, really, look, see the difference? Nothing. And that one, it's, this one's black, because I always go for black, because I've got dark eyes. But I love it, I really, really do. And so it's, it's there, it's next, I wouldn't say it's better. I wouldn't say it's better. 
but I would say it equals my Max Factor Calorie Lash Mascara. So it's the number seven lash extender, infinite lash length and volume, and it does all of that. And it's obviously, I don't know how much it is, I'll put it on the blog link, but it's not very expensive. Um, it's a bu brilliant budget buy. And if you're like me and you don't want to spend a fortune on the products that you're going to wear use all the time, um, go for that one. It's brilliant. Oh, talking of budget, who doesn't love a bit of Primani? But you know what? You always think, yeah, Primani makeup, it's not going to work. It's not going to happen. It's going to be really dodge. But... I guess some of it, I don't know. I haven't used much of it, so maybe some of it is dodge, but I can't say so. Um, I have found this. Look how much I've used it. Talk about stub. Anyway, I'm going on to nude lips now because nude lips is where it's at for me anyway. Because it's easy, it's quick, um, no faffing around, got old line lady wrinkles on around your lips. And um, so nothing else really looks as good and plumps them up as much as a lovely neutral coloured lip gloss and lip pencil which is just my foul safe everyday go-to makeup and this is called PS Velvet Matte Lipstick Crown I picked it up in Primark just thinking I'll oh, chuck that in with my socks and me everything else that you get you know undies Primark um, <sighs> haven't we all got undies from Primark? Don't pretend you haven't, because I know you have. Anyway, so this is, I don't know what colour it is, but as you can see, because it's been like worn down so much, um, it's a neutrally browny, pinky, rosy colour, which is what I use. It's fab. I use it to line like that. And I fill in the lips and I love it on its own it's just great and then I sort of use that as a base and then if I want to go out and I want to put like a deeper color like a pink like a pink or a red or um, something a little bit more vibrant I just layer it over the top but I love that and I chuck it in my handbag as you can see I'm gonna go out and stock up now and on my socks and my knickers prime up um, woohoo now these have been sent to me and they're probably a bit more expensive. These Laura Geller Nude Kisses Lip Hugging Lip Gloss. So Laura Geller, New York brand. Um, it's new to me. Um, I don't know much about Laura Geller makeup, but I know like all the big beauty bloggers love it. Um, they've got some fantastic things. So check out Laura Geller online. Um, but obviously, as soon as I got this... Um, nude press release through about nude lips i was on it on it as quick as i could because they've got 16 shades of gloss ah! not only is it nude which i love but 16 different shades of nude how can you do that i don't know but i love it so i've got a couple i was sent a couple i was sent this one which was um barely there and another one which is called smooch ah oh, this is smooch so it's like that look ah oh, it feels lovely it's really feels comforting on the lips it's moisturizing it's glossy but not sticky and um i love it so they're my beauty buys that I would recommend, and I'm sorry that they're really mank, and so, oh, and this, CC Plus It Cosmetics, this is about 30 quid or so, you can get it from Boots, it's 50 plus um, SPF, and I love this, what I do, look at that lovely packaging as well, pretty rose gold, um, what I do is at the moment, it's a little bit light for me, so I mix it with a little, um, darker foundation or tinted thing but it covers all the little red patches you know all those broken veins that we get and it's not because of drinking so well i don't think it is i think it's just naturally aging anyway um that's my little blog today vlog as they say so i hope you like it and i'll be back with more and i'll get a little bit more professional as time goes on i'm sure okay have a lovely day bye